Hi, welcome to Spiritual Acceleration. My name is Sarah Ellingworth, and today we're doing a healing meditation on the third eye and releasing any fear-based frequencies or blocking frequencies from opening up and activating our third eye. And we're also working with the Ascended Master, Kuan Yin, who is one of my personal favorites. Her energy is absolutely beautiful. She's the goddess or the Ascended Master of compassion and mercy. And uh, yeah, she will be showing up to help us clear, release, and activate and open our third eye chakra today. This meditation can be done on its own for your own personal development and connection into the divine, but it can also be used as a prelude into the intuitive view, which is coming up in a couple of weeks, I believe now, very soon, um, to help you prepare for the course to help you open up your receptive channels, your psychic centers, um, and just bringing some new energy into that space, clearing out any fears, any frequencies that may be blocking you from receiving information. There'll be lots of clearings and activations throughout Intuitive View every week. We will be doing things very similar to this meditation and other activities to really strengthen those muscles within you. Uh, but yeah, this meditation will certainly um, help you within the next two weeks to really prepare going into that space. But it's a nice meditation just to do anyway at any time to connect in with uh, Ascended Master Kuan Yin and her healing energy. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy. Thank you. If you would like to find a space for yourself where you are comfortable sitting or laying, when you're ready, closing your eyes and just bringing your awareness to your breath. Just taking in a long, slow, deep breath in through the nose. A very gentle hold at the top of the breath and breathing out through the mouth. A long, slow exhale and gently holding at the bottom of the breath and inhaling again through the nose. I want you to feel your belly rise and fall on the inhalation and the exhalation. So we're bringing our breath right down into our belly. You'll be able to feel it in your body if you're breathing into your chest, still a shallow breath, if you feel your chest moving. To slow your breath right down, bringing it right into your belly. It might help to place your hand on your belly and feel yourself pushing your belly out on the inhalation. And then just allowing your belly to fall on the exhalation. And just take a moment to continue practicing that breath cycle. Going with a very gentle pause at the top and the bottom of each breath. There's no need to over control your breath or restrict or stop breathing. It's just a very gentle pause. And as you continue to move through that breath cycle, just bringing your awareness to your physical body now, feeling into any areas of your body where you may be feeling tightness or tension, are your muscles clenched or firm. Just doing a scan now, how your jaw feels, your neck, your shoulders, just letting them drop a little bit more on the next exhalation. Feeling into your chest, your stomach, your hips. Releasing any tightness in the muscles of your buttocks or your thighs. Your knees, your legs. Allowing your body to become heavier and heavier with every exhalation. Breathing out any stress, any worry, any fear. Letting go of all the things that have been happening within that day. 
just letting it all fall away now as you create this space for yourself to receive. Bringing your awareness behind your eyes. And we're going to connect into the divine, bringing our awareness up to the crown center, just above the head. Bringing your breath into the crown. Just feeling or sensing this luminous ball of white light. And a very soft violet tone around the outside. Becoming stronger and brighter with every breath you take. When you're ready, bringing your awareness down your central column of light through the very center of your being, running through your throat, your heart, your solar plexus, just beyond your ribcage through the navel and the sacral, coming down into your base. And your base chakra sits just beyond your tailbone, pointing downwards between your legs. So just bringing your awareness down into your base chakra now, breathing into your base, becoming aware of your base, feeling it expand with your awareness your intention. As you breathe into your base, you feel it becoming brighter and stronger, activating this luminous ball of white light with a beautiful soft red all around the outside. And if you've been low in energy lately or you've been feeling a little bit lethargic, you can intensify the colour of the red, making it more vibrant. Feeling the vibrancy, the healthiness of your base chakra increasing. Feeling your vitality. your healthiness, becoming stronger, more vibrant with every breath you take into your base chakra. At the center of this chakra is the beautiful blinding white light and the vibrant red. When you're ready on your next exhalation, we're sending a beam of light out through your base or through the soles of your feet, anchoring into Mother Earth. And you may choose to anchor your light into the core of Mother Earth or just you can reach down as far as six feet, just anchoring your energy into her body. And you also may like to use the beautiful golden Christ light around the outside of your cords. As you anchor your frequency and that of Christ consciousness into Mother Earth. Just allowing that connection to move between you and Mother Earth as you deepen your connection. And when you're ready, taking in a long, slow, deep breath in, coming up through the body, all the way up through that central column of light into the crown, and breathing out into the crown chakra. Coming back into that beautiful, blinding white light. It's a vibrant violet. Just keeping your awareness and your breath in your crown. 
And then when you're ready, taking another long, slow, deep breath into the crown and exhaling out through the top of the crown. And we're sending a beam of light out into the seventh plane of consciousness. And just allow that beam of light to outrun your awareness, knowing you are connected into the seventh plane of consciousness, also known as the omniverse pure creation and you may find or feel or sense some pressure some tingling as you feel this beautiful liquid light pouring down into your crown chakra coming into your brain dropping down into your pineal gland <clears throat> And we're flooding this light through the third eye chakra, sitting just beyond, just between the brows and the forehead. Just feeling this whole area lighting with brilliant, blinding white light. And this light is pouring through the back head chakra as well. So directly opposite the forehead, we have the back head chakra. Just feel or sense or intend this divine healing light to flood through the front and the back forehead chakras. Just stay with your breath. As you receive the downpouring of the divine white light moving through you, through your crown, through your third eye, your forehead, and your back head chakras. And as you do that, we're going to take this moment, this opportunity to invoke the blessings and the divine healing of Ascended Master Kuan Yin. You can repeat after me aloud or silently. I call upon the true ascended master, Kuan Yin, who loves me unconditionally. I ask for your blessings of feminine healing now. I choose to release all negative imprints, conditioning, fears, trauma, soul memories, or beliefs that have kept me disconnected from the powerful healing and divine flow of my sovereign divinity, my divine feminine energy, my divine wisdom, And my God self, I enter into the healing fountain of Kuan Yin's eternal flow of light. Through divine love, so be it. And you sense or feel yourself standing under a fountain with the downpour of divine light. 
Corning is next to you. Holding her compassionate vase of healing waters. Pouring in through your crown. Moving through your pineal, your pituitary, washing through your third eye, your forehead, and your back head chakras. Stay with your breath. as your breath will support the releasing of all energies held within these centers. That are blocking or limiting you from activating and opening your psychic receptors to higher levels. You can feel the trickling vine liquid light coming down through your central column of light, washing into your heart center. Feeling Ascended Master Kuan Yin's healing, compassionate love, her light. Coming into your heart, flooding through the front and the back heart chakra, washing away any blocks to receiving divine love, receiving more of yourself. Any resistances you have to recognizing your true self, your true power, and your true connection, your divinity. She reminds you that there is nothing you need to do to be more, have more do more or receive more it is all ready within you surrender surrender the hurt the pain the trauma the suffering and as you let go You create space within yourself to recognize what was there all along. You, your everything, your love, your light, and your power. The truth of who you are never left. As you lean into the releasing, there is a natural expansion of your light. More of your truth can come forward. And the Ascended Master is bringing in, Ascended Master Kuan Yin is bringing in the white flame within the center of your head 
encompassing the pineal gland, the pituitary, all of your psychic receptors, all of the organs that contribute to the processing of higher information in your brain, the crown, the third eye, forehead and back of chakra, bringing it down now into the throat and the heart, activating that bright white flame of the Holy Spirit, brighter, 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 brighter more intense, more intense, more intense, more intense, more intense, brighter, 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 brighter. Hearing away all contracts, oaths, vows, and agreements, keeping the frequency of fear lodged within their being, or soul trauma, all negative thought entities and elementals hooking into the frequencies of fear, trauma. Experience of horror. That was a consequence of accessing their sight, all of their psychic, their natural psychic abilities. I'm going to do the speed of light, brighter, 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 spinning it out, brighter, 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 brighter. All entities looking into the frequencies identified into the white flame now. Contracts and thousand agreements keeping these frequencies lodged within it being released into the white flame. And you can go to create clear tracks of light. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Brighter, 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 spinning it out. Brighter, brighter. And she's bringing in the golden light of the Christ consciousness. And we feel it, sense it, and know it as this beautiful, sparkling, golden light coming in through your crown. Gently opening your crown, coming into the center of your head and expanding this beautiful golden light out through the front and the back head chakras, opening through the roots, opening and activating, feeling them expanding very gently, very slowly to the degree that is right for you in this moment. Expanding out very, very gently with deep compassion, deep love. Just continue to move through your breath cycle as Kuan Yin gently massages and opens. And as she does that, it's like the energy is thinning out any remaining fears, filters, veils blocking you from receiving information. She says the information is there, it's how you're receiving it. It's distorted. You are always receiving information. You are a natural intuitive being. You are constantly receiving. And we are simply clearing away the interference, the distortion, the veils, the fear. It's like looking through a dirty window and we're cleaning the windows. We're opening the windows up. And it is very important that when you're finished, you then close your clean window so that nothing else can come in without your permission. And we're bringing through that white flame brighter, brighter, brighter. And now she's bringing in the Electric violet flame. Right, 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 And you may sense or feel Kuan Yin placing one hand on your front heart chakra and the other hand on your back heart chakra. And as she activates your heart, she says, 
you are my beloved. And I call you home to me now through light and grace. I shall guide you so that you may serve love and awaken to your full potential through my divine protection. So be it. And just breathe in the love, feeling the love pulsating out through her heart, through her arms, through her hands, into your heart. Feeling that gentle movement through each palm, pulsating through your heart, through the front and the back. Feeling her clearing and opening your heart channel. Allowing your heart to expand, strengthening, activating. Feeling into your connection with Ascended Master Kuan Yin. Allowing yourself to receive her love, her blessings, her guidance, her help, her protection, her healing, her compassion. Stay with your breath as you receive her light. Activating your light, your love, your power. And as you breathe into your connection, you sense or feel or just know the light within your heart. Your love is radiating out into all directions of time and space. Feeling into the strength of your love, the strength of your light, and the magnitude of your power. She reminds you to feel into the gratitude of you, who you are. Just having an awareness now of your auric field. Just pulling your auric field in. If it feels expanded, just visualize or sense your arms stretched out. And with your breath, just pulling in your auric field to be just beyond your fingertips. If you were to visualize or sense a meter above your head and below your feet, creating an egg shape. light around your auric field. And Kuan Yin is bringing in the beautiful indigo blue all around you. And there are flecks of beautiful violet light, blue light, flecks of gold, She brings in the, the gold light of the Christ consciousness all around the outside of your aura. It's pure light. It is weightless. It is breathable. It will continue to nurture and protect you over the coming days as you continue to assimilate the frequencies that have been activated within this healing meditation today. Bringing your awareness back behind your eyes 
taking in a long, slow, deep breath, breathing in through those beams of light, drawing up Mother Earth's energy up through the body, up to the crown, and sending that frequency out on your exhalation through the top of your crown. Breathing down through your feet, through those beams of light, further anchoring back into Mother Earth. As you inhale, drawing up Mother Earth's frequency, her strength, her vitality coming up through the feet, through the body, all the way up to the crown. And breathing out through the crown, like a fountain into your auric field. Taking in one more slow, deep breath in, drawing up Mother Earth's strength, her nourishment. And exhaling out through the crown into your auric field. When you're ready, coming back into the room, just wriggling your fingers and toes, coming back into your body, having a sense of your body, bringing your awareness behind your eyes. And opening your eyes when you're ready. You're welcome to repeat that meditation as often as you like. I hope you enjoyed today's meditation um, and don't forget we've got Intuitive View coming up within a couple of weeks. So if you enjoyed today's uh, third eye chakra meditation with Kuan Yin and the crown chakra meditation that we did with St. Germain, um, we've got a lot more activities like this coming up in Intuitive View, which has been recreated um, and developed to really go deeper into our psychic centres for uh, a lot of clearing and healing. As Kuan Yin mentions in today's meditation, that these psychic gifts and abilities that we have are already an innate part of ourselves. So we're not creating anything new. We're simply removing the blocks to uh, access these very natural parts of our being and then learning activities and doing things to help strengthen. It's like a muscle. When we strengthen it, we work it. We use it every day. Um, it helps to develop and refine those skills and abilities. So we will go into all of that and more within Intuitive View. So we hope to see you there. Thanks. Bye.